practice exercise 3 time speed distance question 11 a man can go 3 fourth of a kilometer against the stream in 11 1 by 4 minute and return in 7 and a half minute the speed of man in still water is how much okay all of us know that the downstream speed plus upstream speed divided by 2 will give us the speed of the boat or the man in still water and downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2 will give us the speed of the speed of uh, the, the current. Okay. So effectively this question as far as I am concerned is not about any concept but about calculation. You are able to do 3 fourth of a kilometer against the stream which means you are doing upstream in 11 1 by 4 minutes. Which means, which is nothing but 44 by 1, 45 by 4 minutes. Which means 1 kilometer upstream can be covered in 45 by 4 into 4 by 3, which is equal to 15 minutes. All which implies 1 kilometer in 15 minutes, it straight away implies the speed will be 4 kilometers in 60 minutes or 4 kilometers per hour. So I can say, that the upstream speed is 4 kilometers per hour. This was only about calculation and nothing else. Similarly, on the return leg, it is taking 7 and a half minutes. So, 3 and a, 3 fourth kilometer downstream is done in 7 and a half or 15 by 2 minutes, which implies 1 kilometer downstream will be covered in 15 by 2 into 4 by 3 which is equal to 6 kilometers per hour. Okay. 6 kilometers per hour. Now some of you may be confused, so let me just do the calculation for you also. This is nothing but 15 by 2 into 4 by 3 is equal to 3 5s of 15 to 2s of 4, which is equal to 10 minutes. So, 1 kilometer downstream is covered in 10 minutes. That means in 60 minutes downstream, you will cover 6 kilometers. So, which is why I straight away said 6 kilometers per hour. Another thing which could have been visible to you is 11 1 by 4 is 1 and a half times 7 and a half. So, 7 and a half into 3 by 2 is 11 1 by 4. So, if the down, upstream speed is 3 km, 4 km per hour, downstream sheet speed should be 4 into 3 by 2, which is equal to 6 km per hour. After that, I don't think it should be an issue. Speed of man in still water would be uh, upstream speed, uh, downstream speed plus upstream speed by 2, which is equal to 5. Choice D is the correct answer. Okay.